um, in fairly short order. So, anyway. Yeah, here he is. Let's have a look at his spell book. He has not a great deal of spells available, but um, like his, all his level 1 spells at present are these little uh, minor drain things, which is basically damages the enemy and restores some health to you in the process. So uh, it's kind of like a life drain, a drain health kind of attack type thing. It's okay, it's not brilliant. That's a bit rubbish, really. But he's got lots of it queued up, so in theory it's okay, I guess. But he, he does have access to level 2 spells. So does Marcus, actually, for that matter. Although he doesn't have any yet, but... He does have access to level 2 spells, and he has 2 spells at the minute only, but they're both very, very good ones. They are Horror, which is what I want to get for Marcus as well, um, which can send enemies fleeing for their lives and panicking, which is brilliant, and Melf's Acid Arrow, which is a ranged attack which does uh, damage over time, and actually quite a lot of damage over time as well, actually. So um, those are very, very useful things to have. Mutton riffraff. Stop complaining, Edwin. What? So, uh, yeah, there we go. That is Edwin. No sooner said than done. He's a very valuable addition to our party. And I'm actually going to, before I forget, I'm going to give him this sling and these bullets. He's going to be useless in melee. And therefore, I want to just give him this sling so he can, Make it quick. when he's not casting spells, basically act as an additional ranged character. I'm also going to give him a script. And I probably should probably do the same for Minsk as well. So, script, range, done. Script, standard attack, done. You can be ranged as well, Khalid. There we go. Um, yes. We're all going to have our ranged weapons equipped, although I think we're probably going to be, from now on, doing a lot more melee stuff. Um, I think I might be using markers a lot less for um, shooting stuff at range and a lot more charging in with his magical hammer alongside Minsk with his two-handed sword. Let's um, talk more fight. Speaking of which, you need to have that spare greatsword. Um, so, yes, because Minsk is a lot more useful in terms of his damage output when he's got um, when he's got uh, when he's got his sword equipped. But anyway, so we are going to head off this way to the west towards the Knoll Stronghold, which is where Dinah here is being held. Um, we'll forget about the Nashville Mines for now. Um, we don't have to worry about um, Jahira nagging us about it because now we've arrived in Nashville and we've officially begun Chapter 2. That will kind of satis satisfy her little script she has running there and now we shall generally be fine. She'll stop nagging us to go there. We don't have anything to worry about in that regard. So, we're going to make our way to the Null Stronghold. It's actually quite a long journey though. Uh, quite a significantly long journey. I think this is, this is the closest bit we can get to on the on our way there, and it's yes, yeah, twelve hours away. So yes. Well, anyway, we'll make a start, I suppose. You have been by oh, the grief! And we've been ambushed by some gnolls. That's not so great. But anyway, okay. You two attack that one. You two attack that one. You two attack. That one for now. Minsk, get your sword out. And uh, you can get your hammer out. Out! Hammer tight! Edwin, get the hell away from that knoll. Immediately. Yeah. Okay, well, that was. Yes? A slightly awkward fight, quite honestly, but we came out of it okay, by the looks of things. I don't think anyone lost any health, good. Um, right, anyway, I'm also going to change our formation right now uh, to this slightly wider one, so that we have Khalid and Minsk up at the front alongside Marcus. And we've got all our weaker characters at the back in the second line. So anyway, that's pretty good. Um, I will search around for a little bit of the loot they might have. Yeah, some gemstones. That sort of thing. And let's just leave. We could... Well, I'd like to be able to rest in this little area here, but it's like a little tiny little ambush area, and the game won't let us rest here. See, uh, yeah, you may not rest at this time, so we actually have to leave first. Annoyingly. But there you go. Anyway, there we go. We're in this area here, and I'm going to go ahead and quick save and rest, because it's now... 
But it's 6 a.m. And we really do need to rest before everyone becomes stupidly tired. Um, because we will literally start becoming fatigued and that will affect our, you know, our stats and stuff. So, yeah, let's rest. We rested for eight hours. It's now two in the afternoon. Who the hell cares? Let's just go. So I don't remember precisely what's in this area, actually, honestly. Um, looks a bit blank and featureless so far, but we'll soon find out, I'm sure. Um, ranged weapons, please. What? The composite longbow Minsk has is pretty neat as well, actually. By the way, it does more damage and stuff like that, I think. Um, but yeah, only he can use it because he's the only one who, with the ridiculous amount of strength required to actually do the, use the damn thing. Um, seems fairly realistic to me, though. I mean, the longbow of yore of the late Middle Ages was a seriously powerful weapon, and the draw strength of those things was immense. Um, there's, I think, I, th I think it was at the Science Museum in somewhere in London or something I went to when I was younger once. And there they had an exhibition type thing on about the Mary Rose, which is this English warship from the 15th or 16th century that sank, because it was really, really poorly designed. Um, but they dug up a bunch of... They, they, well, they kind of found the wreckage of it at the bottom of the sea, and they dredged it up. And on board were a bunch of um, fairly, still fairly intact longbows, because by some accident of nature, the whole, a lot of it had been very well preserved. Including these longbows from the 16th century, and... Um, I'm going into another random historical tangent here, but whatever. You guys seem to enjoy them, so I'll keep on going. Um, the, 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 the draw strength on those things was utterly, utterly ridiculous. You had to spend like an entire lifetime training to use one of these longbows, because you just needed to be strong enough to use the damn things. Um, and they had at this exhibition anyway, at, oh, uh, kill the wolf. Kill it? Why the hell are we running away from wolves at level 4? This is getting a bit silly. There we go, we zapped it. <laughs> um, anyway, they had a bunch of example replica longbows on display at the thing, and you could actually try and draw the strings on them if you wanted to. They were set up so that the public could sort of like go up and try and basically see if they were strong enough to draw the strings on these longbows, and nobody was strong enough. Great. Um, Edwin, enough complaining. Um, but yeah, no, they had these longbows there, and I had to go at one or the two of them, and it was ridiculous. The largest one there, it was hundreds of pounds of force you had to pull back on these things, and nobody there, you know, including my dad and whatnot, could actually pull the strings back on these things. They were that bad, you know. Um, so it just it's, it's ridiculous. So I think well anyway, getting back to my original point, which was I think the reason the whole thing with the composite longbow in this game requiring such a high high strength to actually be able to use is totally realistic, you know. So um, anyway, you show great taste in clothing, young thief. Your fashion sense could someday grow equal to mine. Granted, plenty of exercise and careful study, of course. You mean you like my outfit, really? It's funny. Nobody else seems to. <laughs> Nonsense, child. Mindless blabber. Brought on by envy and nothing more. You may trust my judgment and flawless taste. Most assuredly, pink is not quite as impressive as red, but it's a very good place to start. I don't know, Edwin. I don't really like red all that much. Dearest Ibuin, allow for some more time. Indeed, red on one so young and not of noble Fabian and descent would hardly be fitting now. Red is the colour of colours, the summit of style, and the pinnacle of elegance. Of course, being of such tender years, you might not see it yet, but despair not. I have high hopes for you. Um, sure, Edwin. Whatever you say. <laughs> Edwin talking nonsense once again, as usual. Um, I want to see a bit more banter between him and, him and Minsk, because that's usually pretty priceless. Uh, anyway, let's go up this way. Oh, good grief. Yeah, I, I suddenly remembered what this place is. I believe, if I could be wrong in theory, this is what? a Zvart village. 
a whole village of the little Making bastards quick, up course. here. I kid you not. And I think I'm going to go murder them all for XP. <laughs> um, if I've remembered this correctly, anyway. Yeah, it looks like I have. Oh god, there's hundreds of them. It's a shame Edwin doesn't have any real area of effect spells that are, e are worth using. Marcus has sleep, but he needs to take his arm off before he uses that, unfortunately. Oh god, more of them. Woot! You made him explode, Marcus. That was pretty awesome. I think you're really taking to this whole Warhammer thing, aren't you? That's weird. That just made it sound like you. I was talking about the miniatures game. <laughs> what? Sitting there playing Warhammer while the Zvarts are attacking. Uh, more of them. Wonderful. You monster, you kill us when we do nothing to you. Well, Ursa kill you. Ursa protect us because Ursa kind. Yes, Ursa is a bear. He's apparently going to protect them. However, I have a plan. What? Uh, Edwin, get to the back. Away from that bear. You point, I Minsk, being a ranger, has a couple of special abilities. Well, he has Berserk, just because he's Minsk. Um, <laughs> but he also has Charm Animal, which I think I'm going to try and use on this bear. Um... We didn't really need to, we should probably kill the damn thing, but... And... Did it work? No, the, the bear resisted yes. it. Bother! Alright, everyone, get, get over here. Down. In the corner. I don't want you all spread out like that, it's a bit ridiculous. Honestly. Honestly? Edwin? Right. You get back there. I need you attack that spot. Edwin? I want you to use Melf's Acid Arrow on the bear. There we go. What? Make it quick. Let's talk. We'll get yes, I can. What do you want? Try. You've a task. Right, here we go. Here we go. Okay. How's the bear? Badly injured. Excellent. Well done, Edwin. Khalid, what are you doing? Get back in the front line, you fool! Oh god, now it's all gone to crap. And everyone leveled up. Wonderful. Wonderful. Just randomly in the middle of that. Oh, it's because the bear died. Kill him! Slay him! Oh, good grief. Right, there we go. I think there's actually might there might there might be more of them up ahead, but Um for now I'm just gonna halt for a second. Grab some of this loot. Because my oh my is there a lot of it. Uh there we go. Ooh a scroll. Give me the scroll. It is infravision. Oh that's useless, never mind. And some more gold. Alright. Alright, let's yep. level you up, Imwin. Uh, let's. Alright, okay. Uh, we got a proficiency slot, which. Alright. Uh, I've been thinking about this, and I'm actually. I can't put any more into any of these other ones, like shortbow and stuff, annoyingly. So, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put it into. Longsword. For the simple reason. And I'm also actually going to put loads of points into. Hide in shadows. Oh, actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to put loads of points into fine traps. Because um, we'll need that when we get to the mines. But next time, I'm going to put points into hide in shadows and maybe move silently as well. Because there's an ability that Thieves had, which is called backstab, which basically allows you to hide. Go, but go, basically go into stealth mode, then go up behind an enemy and then stab them for like ridiculous damage. And um, I think that'd be a pretty cool thing to do, especially if we manage to pick up some magical longsword at some point. Um, we could give it to Imowen, and she could use that, and it would do, because you can backstab with a longsword. You can do it with longsword, short swords, and daggers, I believe, but not, not any of these other weapons, like axes and hammers and things. Um, so, 
that would be pretty cool, really. Backstabbing with a magic longsword or something, uh, which would be pretty useful. We've not really done any backstabbing with Immelwyn yet, but I, I think I probably will in the future. Uh, again, I'm not going to dual class her yet, because we'll need her thieving abilities for when we get to the Nashville Mines, but soon enough we will. We will dual class her into a mage. Uh, well, a mage thief, anyway. What? Of course. So. I think I might just. Yeah. Like I thought. More over here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Edwin. 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 Sling. Make it quick. Not. Your, and you as well. Sling. Yes. Not your melee weapons, for heaven's sake. Ugh. Anyway. Is that a scroll? It's a scroll. It's charm. Hmm. I might give that to Edwin. Yes, make them explode! That's what I like to see. Right, let's see. Yes, that was indeed a scroll of charm person. Edwin? There you go, enjoy. That actually gives you 10 experience every time you do that as well, which is neat, I guess. Are there any more of you around here? Or is that all of them finally dead? I think it might be, you know. It might well be. I don't think there's anything left in the village for us to pick up. So I'm going to keep going this way, because I think... There's, um... I think there's actually a cave around here somewhere. With some epic loots in. Maybe. Not entirely sure, honestly. Might be thinking of somewhere else, but I'm pretty sure there's a cave around here somewhere. If not, I'm sure we'll find something else to kill around here somewhere. Oh, like a wolf, for instance. Oh, Minsk. Was that really necessary? Yes, O oh, omnipresent authority figure. Vita, Mortis, I. Oh, I didn't do it. I, I, would, I did a bit of healing, I suppose, but not as much as I would have liked. But we're all getting quite high in the old hit points now, which means sharpen your tongue elsewhere. Everyone deserves a chance. Damn! I accidentally talked over a bit of banter there. That's a bit annoying. Never mind. Sorry about that. Um. Uh, what the? Why, looky here, I find a bunch of adventurers I don't think I've ever seen. Hmm. Though from the looks of it, you don't seem that do it seem to be that well equipped. Well, you're in a lot of luck. I can solve all your problems. I have a huge collection of potions and scrolls for a cheap price. Right now I can give you a portion of extra healing for twenty five gold, and a scroll of protection from petrification for twenty five gold, or a scroll of protection from magic for hundred gold. So what do you say? Uh, we could try and rob him, but um, I don't think we're going to because, well, I think I've already explained that Marcus thinks just sort of highway robbery and banditry is kind of cowardly, so he just generally doesn't approve of that sort of thing, so I don't think we're going to rob him. Um... That said, I don't really trust him either. He could be selling us faulty items. I don't like it, but I'll... How much is it, what did he say for the potion of healing? Extra healing for 25 gold? Yeah, it seems almost too good to be true, honestly. Yeah, let's, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not, I don't really need to stock up right now. You don't know what you're missing. Yeah, what well, point worth making, by the way, that was... Technically, he was actually speaking to Khalid then, but I've decided, even though I originally said that you should really answer based on the person that they're talking to, um, at the same time, I kind of feel like, you know, like in situations like that, even though he's, he actually approached Khalid, I think Marcus would probably speak you up instead of Khalid. You know, what the hell is wrong with your kind of way? Watch your words when addressing me, lest they be fed to you on the end of my 